Hi guys, um, I wanted to do uh, just a, a brief overview video about what the, the actual strategy is here because there still seems to be some confusion. Um, what I suggest we, we, we do is we, we talk about what's actually on um, the, the True SEO Blueprint site as it is right now. Now we're about, I think, three or four days since we actually released the software, so if you're watching this months or weeks later, it's going to look a lot different. Um, First of all, what I've done is I've added in here a module for niche research. Now, this is from a previous WSO that I did um, called Super Simple Niches. This is a 100% guaranteed way to choose a profitable niche every single time. Okay, You cannot fail with it. It's impossible, absolutely impossible. If you want to um, understand how to do niche research, the easiest way to do it is to follow success of others. That's what this um, niche research module does. Okay, That whole course was all about getting into Flipper, and finding what was selling for other people before they, they decided to flip the websites. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of information there. And when you go into Flipper and you look at what people are doing, uh, the, the success of people who are selling niches, uh, selling uh, websites on Flipper, you can go and see what niches they were, they were making money on. You can find out how much money they were making per month. You can even find out what keywords that they were using targeting. Okay, it's 100% guaranteed if you go and do a little bit of research. Now, it's not it's not a, a massive course, but uh, not by my standards anyway, but it's great information. Make sure you watch all of those videos, okay? You might want to use this in the offline niche, for example. You might not get so much information in, in Flipper um, for, for that kind of thing, but the way I would use this, or the way I suggest you, you consider to use this for um, offline is for lead generation, okay? If, for example, we did, uh, I was going to do it offline, and if I go back to when, when I did the Fiverr SEO Blueprint, I chose the personal injury niche. Now, I wish I had this strategy at that time when I was doing that course, because if I did, what I would have done was, would, would have been having different channels, all authority channels, with good quality content on every single one. But what I could have done then was do um, a channel about... Um, Whiplash accidents, uh, whip, uh, sorry, whiplash, whip, whiplash accident claims. Um, you can do things like accident abroad claims. You can do things like accident or accidents at work claims, and all those different variations of personal injury could have created one massive authority network, okay, and all linking to one main channel, which could have been introduced much later, okay. You don't need to have your main channel introduced immediately. If you're working on all of those channels and you're making them work for you and the tool helps you to automate it, then it becomes so much easier, okay? Now, the, the overall strategy is this. Um, let's just go back over to the software and now sort of that will make it easier for me to stay on track. The overall strategy is that we are creating a network of YouTube channels, okay? Why, why we want to do that is because YouTube is already given authority now. It's not that hard to build page rank as long as you've got interactivity, you've got views, um, you've got good quality content in there. And what we're really doing is we're kickstarting. We're kickstarting the authority with all the other channels, right? You can even build up a, chan a channel network like that for, for, for personal injury and go and sell it for a bunch of money. That might work as well. You can sell it to some personal injury lawyers. Or you could even pre-sell it and make them do the videos. Um, so the idea is this, that we're building these uh, channels. We want all of them to have good content. We want all of them to build authority. Now, how do we do that and do it easily? Um, this is a question I keep getting asked in, in, in the support. Okay, What we do is when we have, um, when we have a channel, and when we put a, a video on, on the channel, what normally happens is people who are subscribed get a notification that that channel has just been updated with a new video, okay? And what's the natural thing to happen is that these people will get noticed, uh, they will get notification, right? When they get notification, you would expect them, if they are very interested in the channel, to come through and watch a video, okay? So what we're doing is one video at a time, when you add a video into your channel, you upload it into your YouTube channel. First, come over to, to, to SEO Commando. 
And what we want to do first is we want to increase views. That's the first thing we want to do. Okay. Now, this is working with proxies. It's not working with your profiles. It's working with proxies. Right. Um, I, I, we, initially, we, were, we had this working with the YouTube API key, and I, I just thought it was too scary, actually. So we, we moved it out um, a few days ago. So what we're doing now is we just this just uses proxies. It just switches between proxies to go and make the view. So you can choose up to 100 views, right? It's going to take about 48 hours. Um, and sometimes it shows in, instantly. Sometimes it can even take up to 72 hours before the channel views start, uh, the, the video views start um, start counting in, in YouTube. That's nothing to do with the software. We can't do anything about that. It. It's just the way that YouTube works. Okay. Um, so once this has got views. You would expect it to have some comments and some likes, okay? So what I would suggest you do is go and build a bunch of comments from the profiles that you choose to use, okay? For making for making that right now. So if you're going to make um, comments, what we can do then is we can set the time delay. So every video that gets uploaded, you're going to use your profiles, and you're going to go come in here, and you're going to make comments first thing you want to do with every every single video i'm just showing you how to automate this so that you don't have to forget things it's not that difficult and what what we can do here is while the comments are being posted um you can come over here and you can click increase likes okay but if you're going to set the time delay you want to keep it as natural as possible uh, it depends on how many videos you're going to do per day okay but it's not a race, you don't have to do it all you know, in, in one day, you don't need to do 100 videos in one day. You could set, set this up so that within one hour, you have um, a video with comments, with likes, with comment ratings, and that kind of stuff, okay? And you just set it up once, it will take you about five, 10 minutes maximum, and boom, go away, let TSC do its work, should that's your commander, um, let it do its work, and come back, and then you can start working on the, the uh, next video if you want, okay? So, if you set this time delay, I would set the time delay for comments. Um, anything between, you know, we want it to work over, over a period of, say, an hour. That would be okay. That would be kind of looking natural. <coughs> uh, pardon me. Um, so, maybe between 0 and, and, and 25 minutes or something, or 0 and 15 minutes. It should be able to work okay, because <coughs> it's not that all comments are going to be done in 15 minutes. It will do the first comment, which might um, happen immediately. The second comment might not be for another seven, eight minutes. And then the next comment after that might not be for another nine minutes. So it becomes over a period of, of time. It's not just all comments are done in 15 minutes, okay? So it's starting to look natural, right? And then you can go back in here later and do the comment rating. Now, we, we are working on this right now, and it should be fixed very, very soon. And it should be far, far more effective than what it is right now. So then you can increase the likes and you can do the same thing at the same time as this, okay? But what you can do, so there's a little bit of a delay, you can make this between, say, um, 2 and 15 minutes. So you know you're going to have a 2 minute gap in between, okay? That way, it, yeah, it will start to look more natural, look like people have commented, they have liked, and then you can move on to the other parts as well, okay? So you should be subscribed from all the channels to the other ones. and that should always be there anyway. So we do want to subscribe pretty much quickly, okay? From your other channels into, into, from channel to channel. You want to subscribe to all of them, from all of them, okay? Um, if you want to have some, if you want to make it look more natural, you can take maybe a couple of accounts out that's not subscribing to this channel and a couple not subscribing to that channel and try to keep it more natural. It's completely under, under your control, okay? So then, what we've got is we've got a video just been uploaded. Within five or ten minutes, you can have set up the increased likes. You could have done the increased views. You could have done the comments. And all you have to do is go in and do the comment rating after the comments is finished. Right? And that's basically it. Now, don't forget with your commenter, you've got that option there. If you, if you tick a comment down here, that is going to come from the moderator of the video, from the channel owner of the video. Use that to emphasize the main points. Use it to emphasize things. You cannot get a link um, with an HTTP into, into your comments. Um, but I think 
the last time, no, I see it all the time. If you're not using HTTP in www, you can just put the rest of the URL there that people can sort of figure out for themselves. But you want the link in your description anyway, okay? So basically that's how the strategy is working. That's how we're building this up. Um, and hopefully that's going to answer a, a lot of questions for people because we, we, I'm still getting questions and asking, is, is this the way that it's working or, or you know, what is the overall strategy about? How do we build these sort of blog networks and YouTube kind of thing? It's really, really not that, that complicated. It sounds a little bit sophisticated, but it's actually very, very simple. And um, with that strategy all put together, with and the quality of videos going in there with the automation that we can do with Chebesio Commando, then it just becomes very, very easy. Okay. Now, what I'd suggest as well with the, um, uh, the video creator is that you can just have maybe like an image of uh, whatever niche you're in or, or a series of, of images. And so when you go into the background, you can have this if you choose multiple images. You can have this rotating, like almost like a slideshow or like an animoto type thing, right? Um, you could get on Fiverr.com. You could get some uh, people to give you a voiceover, very very cheaply, if you want to do that. That voiceover can be used again and again, okay? Because you've got so many other channels, you just can change the background images, or you can just spin the videos, okay? But that's what the spinner is for, right now. Um, when we're doing the uploading, that makes it very easy, but the thing is, whatever video you put in here to do the uploading, that video is going to go to all the, 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 all the channels in that profile. Okay, so if you've got four different videos, that those four different videos are going to go, the same videos are going to go onto each of these channels, okay? That's okay if you're playing a numbers game and you know that you don't give a crap if you're going to lose a, a accounts and stuff like that, but it's not the best way to use it, okay? What I suggest you do is that you have maybe a good generic video about your niche and that video you want to put on other sites. The, the more effective way of, of, of doing that, in my opinion, is using the playlist creator. The playlist creator, whenever you've got a new video as well, if you go and use the playlist creator and you have other channels, your other channels using that video, what it's doing is it's sharing the content on that other channel, on the first channel where that uploaded the video, and it's building more relevancy for all of the other channels as well if you do that, okay? So you could have maybe a couple of playlists with that new video from channel 7, for example, and channel 1 to 16 minus 7, it's all got that video in the playlist. Okay, it might start to look a little bit spammy, but it depends on how many you do, okay? It depends on how often you do it, and, and you know, if you do it all at one time. But that's definitely a way that you can get the information shared that you you have in the social activity and, and it is all about social sharing and, and stuff like that these days and and then what you're doing is you're building more relevancy and more sort of interaction between all the, all the channels okay it look, looks like um, a network that they're all friends with each other okay and it it just builds um, a lot of curation a lot of relevancy and it builds the social activity that we really need to see so that we can think long time about um, dominating niches. And uh, it's going to be very, you know, what we're doing really is, as I mentioned before, is kickstarting. Other people might start to come and then start to see the other channels and think, this is good information. It depends on what the niche is and how you, how you put that together yourself. I can only advise, um, but be creative with it. Be very, very creative with it. If I'm doing it in, in the internet marketing niche, for example, I might have something that is product reviews about list building, product reviews about um, SEO stuff, product reviews about softwares. And if a marketer comes in and thinks, you know, these channels are actually quite interesting, these are honest reviews and things like that, then, you know, we've got a, a, a situation where they might go and visit the other ones and subscribe to them as well. So what we're doing is we're kickstarting. You just have to figure out in your head the best way to do that for um, to be able to generate more subscribers when they've actually come in and saw the quality of the content. But it's always going to be about quality of content. It doesn't matter if, it, if it's a website, if it's a um, um, YouTube channel or anything else. It's always going to be about quality of content, whether people want to know more, whether they want to come back or not, okay? Yeah, we can use it for, for to, to help with rankings. That That's not really the main point, no. The main point is that we want 
more people to come into and in, in, in as subscribers. And if you've got crappy content anyway, it's not going to help you much, no matter if you're number one. Um, so you need to think about conversions and stuff, which is what we will be doing in the Mastermind um, webinar series. And um, if you, you've got strong calls to action, you're getting people onto your mailing list, that gives you the opportunity to remarket to them every time, every time you post a video from any of your channels, okay? Or if you've got an offer that you want to promote. So if I'm doing something in internet marketing and something, and somebody comes up with a really great course about uh, video marketing, if it's new, fresh, whatever, great value for money, I might want to promote it. And as I'm building a list, that gives me the opportunity to do that and to do a proper review, for example. And that's how we can use it. All right. So that's basically what I wanted to talk about in the overview video. It does get a lot more in depth. We're going into the things like the link reels and all the different SEO strategies that, that will be revealed as we go through the course, um, the optimization techniques and stuff like that. But the overall strategy is actually very, very simple. It's really, really simple. It's not that difficult at all. And um, if done properly, you've got something, you've got an asset, you've got a major, major asset. Okay. And you could even have these linking to a website. There's nothing to stop them um, or the channels linking to a website instead of one main YouTube channel, but or you could do both. There's no reason why you can't do both. Okay. Now we, we are looking to uh, add a channel view and a channel um, commenter as well in here. We want to get that done as soon as possible. It, it really depends on how fast our programmer can work, but he does, um, he does his best. And um, as long as he understands the concept, he just goes off and does it and, you know, it turns up and it's done and we can get it out and we can update and things like that. So um, just going to have to be patient as we try and develop um, the, the, the software. And as I go into the live campaign and start doing stuff, I know for a fact we're going to come up with even more um, strategies and things like that. And when we get into the webinar series, the mastermind webinar series, you're going to see some stuff in there that will... Uh, just wait, just wait. You, you won't be disappointed. It's, it's got some really good content. Okay, um, so that's it. That's just an overview video. I wanted to get it out there because I was getting a lot of um, support tickets. Like, what, what, what do we mean by a, a channel network? Is it like blog networks? And the answer is yes. But we're doing it intelligently. But we're trying to do it as easy as possible as well. So whenever a new video is uploaded to any of the channels, you go through the same process. Okay. It's only five or ten minutes more work. What what people will see when they go to that video um, after it's been done, after that five or ten minutes work, they will see a video that's got views, that's got comments, that's got comment ratings, that's got likes, and that plus that video should be on a bunch of playlists on the other channels as well. Building authority, building a ranking of it, and plus we've got all the social activity. It's just social proof as well. We're trying to kick start, okay? Just make sure the content is good quality. I cannot control that for you. You have to do that yourself. All right, guys, that's it. Any any questions, feel free to um, send me an email or contact me um, via the, the, the um, support ticket desk, okay? Um, we will be adding in here as well links to the tutorial videos on the actual uh, interface here. I don't know if we can do it with thumbnails, but even if it's just a link to the tutorial video for that particular um, plugin or software, then it will be there. So if you get stuck anywhere, you can just go and check that. And most of those videos are very short. Okay. So I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.